Dean Canemar joins us to go through his runners for Splash Out Cape Derby Day. Looking forward to it. Dean, first of all, you've got USA's Hope, a really cracking win last time and, and you could say somewhat of a surprise. Yeah, you know, he won his maiden plate very well. It was his first run back uh, after his Durban trip campaign and he was gulled and he had issues like uh, lung infections and he came and he won a maiden. Uh, he won it well. It, was, it wasn't a very strong race and uh, he got a rating, as I mentioned before, and I thought, well, let's see how good he is. And, uh, and there's a lot more competitive I met, uh, and he duly won. It was a very close finish for them, went through the line. Uh, but I was, I was very happy the way he won. This race, I think, is also very difficult. He's gone up slightly in the weights, and uh, it's not going to have all his, he's going to have his work cut out there. But, uh, but he's doing exceptionally well. When I say the word, he's going to have his work cut out. It's going to be, it's, I think it's going to be even tougher than last time. But uh, I feel that he's improved, us, and uh, but he's doing exceptionally. He looks well. Race five, the BSA Sales Cup. But you've got Outlaw King. He ran on well last time to to win comfortably. Yeah, we, he he won exceptionally well, and. Um, we thought he'd run a good race, um, so he goes into the BSA's Cup. You know, a lot of the juveniles this time of the year, we don't really know who's who, you know, and uh, some are making improvement. Uh, some have come very early, some have come early, and how much scope have they got? He sure has got scope, and I haven't pushed my babies at all, and he was one of the first ones to come out, and uh, I hadn't really tried him, you know, and uh, he won well, so I think he'll improve, but they still got to sort themselves out, but uh, the way he won, you've got to include him. Race 6, the city of Cape Town of Good Hope, nursery over the 1,200 metres. Teflon man, you've got uh, Keegan up, has he come on? Uh, I think he has come on, I thought rather unlucky it was first time out, um, you know, he just couldn't get a run, and when he managed to get him out, you know, he didn't really know how to quicken up, and he put his head down the last 100, and uh, I think there are five one-time winners in the race, and he should have been a six-time winner, I mean, he should have been one of the, the five, he should have been a sixth winners in the race, so... Um, uh, also quite a tough race. Once again, it goes to some horses. You know, they've come out and babies and have won. And and uh, how good are they? You know, how good is he? Uh, but he's also shows me nice work back home. So it's also for the people out there to say and to judge who's who again. It's it's going to be uh, as I say, some horses will improve a lot. Um, but he's a horse that uh, that I think is a nice loss, and uh, you you can't leave him out either in, in quite a a very open race. That's my opinion. Race 7, the splash out Jet Master 6. You've got Silvano's Timer Corner off for a board, uh, well drawn and, and also good horse, a horse with a good turn of foot. Yeah, a very tough race. Uh, big field and uh, he's, uh, you know, he's a horse you can, can never leave out in your exotics. And uh, when we finish with this race, I'll probably ship him up to Durban. He did very well in the Durban season last year, finished off a winning a feature on Gold Cup Day. So I think uh, there's some more races that will be available on the markets. Uh, you'll definitely one of those that will be going up for the season. But he's doing well, including him in the exotics. Race 9, the Kai Stables Diadem Stakes. You've got a uh, good sort and give me a prince. And I just think that he's such a lovely horse to watch run. He's uh, he's definitely got the talent. Well, I'll start with Cosmic Highway, um, several companion, which... Uh, you know, he had a very different campaign uh, during the summer season coming back from Durban because we had a lot of issues, uh, as in, once again, you know, a lot of also infections and lung infections, and, and that's how it goes. And uh, I mean, he had one run on the drill, which wasn't a bad run, needed the run. And then I had that setback, and then I, I ran him the other day in that race, which was too sharp for him. I did expect him to run better. Uh, you know, Jockey said he never, because he's, he's, he's up. I took him up to Durban and galloped him once, and I uh, was very happy with his work. And uh, he never really was in the race, but a thousand too sharp for him. Be a much better horse over 1200 meters. He's doing exceptionally well. You have noticed that I've put a pair of half cup linkers on him. Pierre's going to ride him, and you know, he's horse that comes from off the pace. Um, so I think um, we will see a big improvement in, in the diadem stakes. He won this race exceptionally well. So, so don't write him off, I forget about him. So, if he doesn't perform well. Saturday we may have to just, I'll speak to the owners and management about gelding him. Uh, he's, uh, but, but he's, oh, he looks well I must say. And then, uh, give me a prince, um, well his record speaks for itself, you know. Uh, he came back in his first, he was unbeaten in Durban. Um, came back, he was rather unlucky not to win that sprint race out. He's to sprint over 1100, which, which was too sharp for him. But still unlucky, and then he won the Merchants very well. Then I ran him in the uh, in the Cape Line Championship, which I honestly thought would be too sharp for him. 
Um, he's a far better horse over 1,200 meters. And uh, he did win that race very well. Love, you'll love the extra 200 meters. A uh, little bit of swing around in the weights, you know, with Rio Carrari. Now you got to give him weight, and the last time he had level weights. Uh, but he's a horse that came through that race well, and he's doing exceptionally well. Um, so if you look at the performance in the Cape Flying, he reproduces that he's going to be, even though he's giving weight away, he's going to, he's going to, he's got to be a huge runner. Um, but there's some some top perform horses, but uh, he's doing exceptionally well. He's, you can't fault his record. All the best. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much to Dean Kahneman, not only for his time, but also comments. And uh, as mentioned, give me a prince. Live very nice sort, so keep an eye on him. He's proven himself and might just do again.